Gronk, Willie Heron, Patsy Valdez, and myself, Harry Gamboa, manufacturer of falsehoods and My name is Andine Chavoya. I am a professor of contemporary art and Latina and Latino studies at Williams College. Um, I am from Los Angeles, although I live in New England. And I am here as a co-curator for the exhibition ASCO Elite of the Obscure, a retrospective 1972 to 1987. The exhibition is organized thematically with the origins of the group and their kind of experimentation and collaboration on graphics, designing images for a publication that they worked on in their early 70s called Regeneración. And it moves from their early work together to help to illustrate this cultural and political and literary news magazine to then look at the activities that they began to experiment with in placing their work in the public arena and the streets, uh, blending activism and performance uh, in doing kind of urban-based interventions. From there, the show moves into their play with mass media and their invention of the medium of the no movie, or as we're translating for this exhibition uh, and for the Spanish language audience, the no película, uh, which was their um, performances that were staged specifically for the camera uh, that invoke cinematic codes and that were meant to be distributed as images from films. Uh, so they were kind of inventing cinema and imagining themselves, uh, inventing a new form of cinema through performance and photography. And then the show continues on to look at their um, individual explorations of different media, including photography and printmaking and video and stage performance. So that's the, the basic structure for the exhibition. The exhibition comes out of um, several years of research, um, more than a decade, almost two decades of research that Rita and I have been involved in individually and collaboratively. Um, one of the big things, because this work um, was so unknown and hadn't been exhibited previously, this is the first exhibition of this, of this scale. So one of the things that had to be done first was to establish the archives and to work with the artists over the years to identify the materials because they hadn't been collected. So that's where over the years there were several people, myself included, that were involved in helping to bring these materials, uh, to, to collect them and to preserve them so that an exhibition such as this and f could be uh, pursued, as well as to help to um, establish or promote new research uh, on these artists and on this period.